<laughs> just being a shit disturber. A oh, what? Uh, I gotta go. Alright, well, that was something. Once again, chat, we're alone. How you guys doing? Oh, well, later M. Yeah, there she goes. Not sure what her deal was. She is on one. Like, she's normally on one, but she was on one. Dealing with abandonment issues? Yeah. She left us just like my dad left me. Huge felt. Felt. Understood. Uh, who is the next gym I should logically go take on? Because I think we're just ready to beat gym asses. Whoever gym is. And then, also coupled with beating up the gym leaders. Oh, I want to take on the next gym leader because I want to, uh, I want to unlock Ultra Balls in the shop. But I should have a fair bit of money. I always say I should have a fair bit of money, and then I don't, but then I sell stuff. And I, like, I'm just picking up star pieces and shit. How many badges do you have? I have, like, two. I've done, like, the, the first one, when you go west, and then I've done the Sun Flora badge. Hey, this blue one's not shiny. This Pokemon's just weird, right? Need five badges for Ultra Balls? Well, shit. I don't even know where the blue one went. Oh, there it is. I'm supposed to catch these, though, right? Because there's some lady who wants one. Yeah, it's not a shiny Flabebe or anything. It's just... Six badges for Quick Balls? Oh, I forgot how hard Quick Balls went in Arceus. Wild Blues, yeah, there's a bunch around here. Getting the legendaries, filling up my Pokedex. I'm a Mud Stomp, the Elite Four. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. Um, okay, so we go down to the bottom left and get the Psychic Gym Badge. We can do that. Oh, also, I guess they don't count as Gym Badges. I've taken out one or two of those uh, camps, those Dark Star camps. Why would I hit this Pokemon Center? Interesting. Actually, I can put my starter as my lead for the Psychic Gym if we're going to be Dark-type. That'll be cool. Electric Gym is level 24 at most. Okay, we'll go watch that next. Every gym's got like a little gimmick, though. Water gym's back near the Titan you just beat. Yeah, I can do... I can actually use my starter for that one, too. I can also use Raichu. Doesn't really matter. You know what? Let's do... If the Electric Gym is the free one, let's do the Electric Gym first. Because this gym is in a crazy big area. Oh my god, I could level up so much. Chat, you guys want to see how I got my level so maxed out? You guys want to see how you gain levels in this game? You go to an area where you're underleveled. You find a raid. And you just let nature take its course. See that? That's a thousand experience a pop. Oh, you're right. I can Rage Fist the Psychic Gym. I just have to make sure I'm a higher level than them, or I'm faster than them, because if they're going to be hitting me as a fighting type, they might one-shot me. Yeah, he's level 42, and my Raichu is only level 39 or something. Okay, I can't do that due to Torment now, right? Yeah. 
Hey, what up, Carter? Gym test, part of the gym are boring as fuck. I agree. Granted, I've only done two, but I haven't enjoyed either of them. Okay. And then the only thing is, when your Pokemon are about to, like, level up on a level where they would evolve or something, <clears throat> you take on the battle naturally. You don't auto-battle it. Running Chansey right now? Nice. What do you guys use the sandwiches for? Damn, look at her. Meow Scarada? With skillful misdirection, it rigs foes with pollen-packed flower bombs. Meow Scarada sets off the bombs before its foes realize what's going on. Love Sprigs. Evo. I don't hate it. I still wish it would have been something that stayed on all fours, but it is what it is. Flower trick. User throws a rigged bouquet of flowers at the target. This attack never misses and always lands a crit? Oh my god! Yeah, this is just way better seed bomb. I might do this over Hone Claws. I'll do it over Hone Claws. Ham sandwiches force normal types to spawn like the Chansey that I'm trying to power. Oh, yeah, I got you. Anyway, yeah, quick leveling. Just tell Raichu to go do some murders. And then Raichu goes and does some murders. Though I could sit here and do that all day, but I'm already severely overleveled. And I don't really care about catching a shiny bombardier at all. So... I haven't done the fire gym. And then that's electric. Let's go do the fire gym. And then we can go to the electric one. <clears throat> and then we can knock out another Terra Pokemon if we want. But I gym, I'd say minimum level 45. Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff to do. We have like three or four gyms to do between now and then. And then another Terra Pokemon or two, I'd assume. Anyway, that's how I got my Pokemon to be so high level here, is I had Mudbray go out, and Mudbray just auto-battled a bunch of... Mudbray at, like, level 35 was auto-battling a bunch of Ampharos that were level 42 to 45, because I went to an Ampharos outbreak. Look at the green Deerling. Just beat the Elite Four, good shit. Do you have a good time with it? Oh, how do I glide? Found it. Figured out how to glide. Ooh, a Terra Growlithe? Is there a Terra type normal? Terra type normal Growlithe with extreme speed would go crazy. Or maybe ground with dig. I don't know what else would be good. Terra type rock? I think Growlithe can the rock slide, right? What is this? Oh, it's Terra type ground. Um, I know Growlithe can learn Dig, but I don't think Arcanine can learn Earthquake. Hey, what up, Shy? How you doing? My Talonflame is Terra Normal? Uh, yeah, because when you catch Fletchling, Fletchling is Normal Fire, so it's it's naturally going to be one of those two. Uh, Terra Normal is probably way worse, though. I'd rather have Terra Fire for Flare Blitz. But Terra Normal, if I teach it Extreme Speed... Or no, I'm sorry, it's... Fire type is not normal because I think Fletchling is normal flying, is what it is. I believe Arcanine can get Bulldoze. That's pretty good. You found that Dragonair? We the people, was it the same Dragonair? Was it Terra Electric? With all those moves?
Terra flying, Gale Wings, Brave Bird. Yeah, that would be badass. The whole last city over there. That's just what Magnemite looks like. Magnemite is so shiny, it looks sick. Can you transfer Legends Arceus Mon yet? I genuinely have no idea. Oh, cool, sturdy. Notice the Terras in this world respawn under the same for everyone, kind of like Arceus' is shiny Ponyta. I found that it has the same moves. Okay, so everybody can get that Dragonair. Damn, I'm not special. That Magnemite, yeah, that's where the whole visual... Uh... The whole visual budget went straight into that Magnemite. Moves while constantly hovering and discharges electromagnetic waves from the units at its side. They put his Sui and Zorak on the website, but you can't actually transfer it yet. Sounds about right. Couldn't tell if that was a Pokemon or a little shiny glimmer on the ground. Shiny Magikarp looks like solid gold. I bet he looks sick. I know, sh like, Shiny Magikarp's always been gold, but... Actually, at this time later, Brad, have a good night, bud. Have I caught this weird kind of bird yet? What kind of bird is this? Have I seen this bird yet? A watch roll? The hell are you? Alright, we're a little too strong for the watch roll. This is a better Emolga because it evolves. Oh, is this thing just flying electric? I didn't want to say that without you asking about it. it feels kind of spoily about the Dragonair. What, like Terra's or Precept? <clears throat> I didn't even realize it played a part in the story or anything like that. I do not want to blow all my Ultra Balls on this thing, but I don't have anything weak enough to just weaken it without killing it. But it's breaking out of Ultra Balls frame one, so I guess I better figure it out. Nuzzle will hit neutral, so I... I wonder if Nuzzle kills this thing. I don't think they'll make triple type mons. I think this was them attempting to make... Like, this is the closest you're going to get to, like, triple type stuff. That and the, uh... <clears throat> that and the, uh, what's it? Oh, like the legendaries where they can have a couple typings. It has Volt Absorb? Okay, so I have to hit it with Trailblaze and hope Trailblaze doesn't kill. Nice. Trailblaze is Trailblaze with Electro Ball is a crazy fucking combo. 
And I kind of wish my Raichu was a, a mixed attacker instead of physical so I could try it. But the nature does not allow for it. I kind of want four stage Evos for older <clears throat> three stage Mons. Queen Maya, I think that, I mean, that's kind of what Megas were supposed to be, but I've, I've agreed with that for a long time. I've always thought if, and we'd have to ask Game Freak to stop being lazy, which I don't think is ever going to happen. Um, given the fact that this game is a buggy fucking low resolution, low poly, low fucking frame rate garbage pile visually. <clears throat> and it still sold 10 million copies in the first three days. Um, I don't think Game Freak is ever actually going to try. But I see the little coin dude, by the way. My camera's blocking it, but he's there. Um, if they were ever going to not be lazy about it and go back to doing like two regions, a fourth Evo just makes sense. Because if you get to, uh, like, let's just say you get to a situation where there's maybe a second Elite Four or something where. You don't actually hit the end game. Because you guys remember, even in Johto, Red had, like, that Pikachu's level, like, 70 something, right? And your Pokemon are in the 50s. So if you think about how. Your starter typically hits their last Evo stage at like 36-ish, right? You could have another Evo at like 50 or 55. If the game, if they would actually just make these games big enough and long enough where your Pokemon needed to be like in the 80s before you beat the game kind of stuff. It wouldn't be weird if you didn't need to be like level 55. Or for you to have an Evo at like 50 or 55. But I've thought that for years, so that would just kind of roll off of it. Chat, I have a Skip Plume because I took a hop if I caught I, and I leveled it up till it evolved. So I have a Skip Plume already. What is there how, what is the difference between making a Skip Plume or how how do you make a Skip Plume a jump left versus a Sun Floor? I'm pretty sure a Sun Floor is a Sunstone. But what is the trick to getting Skip Plume to jump off? Is that just levels? Not every Pokemon like that. Not every third stage Pokemon needs an Evo. Uh, Alpha Nuts. I don't think there's anything wrong with Lubing Blissey as is. Skip is the two separate. Yeah, but am I on crack? Skip Plume evolves into Jump Bluff or Sunflora. No, not Sunflora. What am I thinking of? Can, can Skip Plume go two different ways? I might be on crack. Break third form is a random floating leaf. From what I can tell, yes. Which is probably my least favorite part about the form. Hop it, hop it turns into Skip Plume. I'm not thinking of Sunflora. I was thinking of... I No, I'm confused. I was thinking of Belossum, but Belossum's not Jump Bluff. That's not Skip Plume. Belossum is... Uh, Belossum's fucking Vile Plume. The Vile Plume alternative. My bad, I'm on crack. Speaking of crack... <gasps> Hello? Oh my god. You scared me. You How'd you get in my Discord? You called me. What are you talking about? <laughs> em, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. Hi. Hi. Um, hello. Uh, listen, my uh, my chat. Uh, they they fed me giga crack, so that's why I am this way. They fed me giga crack. <laughs> they fed me giga crack, so that's why I am the way that I am. Yeah, I like to blame other people for. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> For what? Giga crack? For nothing. For yeah, I like to blame other people for Giga crack too. So all this Giga crack, I'd be smoking, really be hitting chat, really be hitting. She's officially in the deep end. She cooked. Char I did cook a man today. I deep fried him. Why did you cook Charlie? I can't talk about it. I'm gonna do a stance and. 
and uh, summon a demon trap. Did you did you try to say seance, but you just said sance? Did you go, hey, you want to do a sance? <laughs> I don't know to what you are referring. Sure. <laughs> ah, it's fine. You're holding a key. Yeah. You just lit it on fire. I wouldn't worry about it. Temporary misjudging. Uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> um, you smell crack? What kind of 4D world are you living in? One where fire burns your hand. Crazy, am I right? Just nuts. Truly nuts. <laughs> See? Now she had the crackhead powers that allows her to hold a lit up candle. Yep. Who recently taught me you could, like, put your hand over over fire? Did know, fire somebody... tell you that? No, somebody recently taught me that. Um, and I didn't know you could do that. You could just like, move your hand through it if you're quick? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you could do that. And I did that recently, and I was just completely mesmerized. It was a very exciting moment for me. Chat, you should try it. Actually, don't. That's very dangerous. <laughs> oh, chat, what day is it? The 24th? Chat, anybody else can... Can, can any of the fellows in chat levitate a little bit yet? Because I did it yesterday for a little bit. I'm sorry, what? Um, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> chat, anybody else? Are you guys' superpowers coming online a little bit? Yay, nay? <laughs> oh, I get this. I get this. Oh, you get this? I get it now. Yeah, it's like, uh... No, not November. <laughs> Who told the women? Which one of us outed the outed the jig to the women? Chat. They all told me about it. We had a whole discussion, right, Chat? Came over and we had a little talk about the secret abilities you gained from No Not November. It's very exciting. Traitors, all of you. <laughs> hey, Rumple, how you doing? That was very convenient, by the way. Your name is incredibly convenient. You're already yeah, saying, hey. No shot. Yeah, I know. You literally just say his name and everything just seems right in the world. I have no idea what TM I just grabbed. Mimic you? I hardly know you. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Nothing, but there's a tiny little guy up there you can grab. That's why in December, stores sell nutcrackers. Oh my god! That's why? Yeah. That would be incredibly painful. Yeah, you roll from No Nut November straight into Destroy Dick December. <laughs> A whole that would be thing. incredibly painful. Is that how you remove your powers? Do you store them for later? What happens? Like yeah, it's one of those things where you, you get powers near the end of the month, but if you don't take care of them come December, then your testicles actually explode over time. So, when you crack the nut, like what happens? Like what what officially happens? Is it like sparks? They fly. Does God come down from heaven and <laughs> pat you on the back? Like, why do you do this to yourselves? What's the point? <laughs> And why would God show up or sparks emit from our testicles? And who told you about No Nut November? Because you should fight them. They did not tell you everything correctly. I just thought something magical would happen. Because why would you do that otherwise? <laughs> What's the point? What is the what is the actual? Never mind. Just ignore me. Let's protective just protective shell it. formed around your will of steel nards <laughs> needs a nutcracker <laughs> to be removed. Okay. Uh, Luna, we don't have to call it No Shiny November, all right? I was Fertite so Swizzle! I was so Luna, fine with the other bitch. thing. Luna, you bad bitch. For T Swizzle, let's fucking go get his ass. Tell him. Chad, I have to film like three things later, and I do not want to do it. That's why I'm here. She's procrastinating. Why did you say that with such disdain? She's pushing off her responsibilities. By hanging out with my good friend Thundershot. Mm-hmm. 
What a horrible thing to do, isn't it? Best use of my time right here, chat. How far are you in this game? I don't fucking... I don't even know. Let me find out. I mean, we didn't Come have to on, be rude about up. it. It was just a question, but yeah. No, you just perplexed me. I just realized that I don't know. You know? Like, hey, and how far like are you I'm... in this game we're both playing? You're like, I don't fucking... <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I just got upset because I realized I don't know myself. You know? Yeah. Well, Which you got, is disgusting. That's the first step. You got to know yourself before you can know anything else. Disgusting and unacceptable. Thundershot. Astounding, even. Guess what? What? I've cried so much today, and this is a new eyeliner, and guess what? It's even more waterproof than the last one. Not bad, huh? Is it running? Nope. Not even a little. Pretty please. Was your old Not eyeliner? Even it, and I've been crying. You was know? your you was your you old cry? eyeliner running? You're gonna say you should go catch it. You <laughs> fuck. Am. You really lean into that too Am. much because I saw it coming from. That is exactly right. I was, I was gonna do that. <laughs> I felt it in the air. Like, you were breathing that in my face. Like Jesus Christ. You should go shopping. You poor. Why do you wear such regular clothes? I'm sorry. <laughs> she called me to tell me this. And then she, she, she then she's like, I, I don't bully him. <laughs> but I like, I mean like uh, in the game, because there's luxury stores in the game, you know, you can buy luxury clothing and stuff. She called us but, poor, no, she called me poor. I did. Not you, chat. I was I like, this is my poor. favorite wrestling shirt. I, no, no, no. I like that shirt. I'm talking about the, your guy in the game. I'm talking about your guy in the game. This is his winter Which, fit. That's I, not a fit. I should go shopping, though. Whoa, that Pokemon's sick. Who is that? This is, so this is Primeape. His name is Conky Dong 64 Conky Dong 64 is crazy. Chat. Never mind. Good job, chat. <laughs> Oh my god, we're finally getting a full-grown horsey. <laughs> Alvin Nuts is wild. Your name is insane. I know that you're in my stream too, but holy shit, your, your name is wild. Alpha Nuts. That dude's at least 60 Where... years old. Yeah, there's people of all ages in the school in this one. Sorry, I cut you off. You were going over Alpha Nuts. Nah, I was going on a tangent that would never be saved from. I was just going to keep going. Why does this Mudsdale look as sad as I do? That Mudsdale's beautiful. Look at the eyes, though. What do you mean, as sad as you do? Look at the eyes. There's dread like in those you. eyes. No, he's just, he's going through it. He's having a nice, a difficult day. Someone stole his apple right out of his jaw. Oh it's my God. I think his Pokedex entry says Mudsdale's been known to kill a man with one kick. That's fucking awesome. What a guy. Mad respect, Mudsdale. Ooh. Oh, right. I forgot that last time I played this game, it fucking crashed. Ha. Huh. I mean, that's so sad. Why would that ever happen to a person? I'm back in the game. Chat, what was that purple thing that popped up for one second? I see there was a purple thing that appeared right here for half a second and then vanished. Thunder, show me your levels. Uh, roughly 40. Roughly 40? Do you want to see my cool shoes and my cool outfit and my cool sunglasses? I look really cool. I yeah. really, I really dressed up. I believe you. I want to show you. It's very cool. Check this shit out, chat. Or just thunder. Whoever you want. Really. No, no, no. They can see it. You do have the wow. pumped up kicks on. Look how cool. Some sunglasses. Wow. Drippy. Drippy, my dude. Drippy, my guy. Look at that. That backpack, $50,000. No big deal. Really? <laughs> yeah. 50k. I wouldn't worry about it. You can't afford it, you know? Totally fine. 48 hours and no shiny. You're not alone, Thunder. Thanks. It's good to know that I'm not the only one. That was extremely convenient that you didn't have to change my camera. Right. Did you not? No, I didn't touch anything. Discord just That's, coming through. That was awesome. Okay, so I walked by these two ladies and they're holding... Oh, they're gone now. They disappeared. They were holding shopping bags and they were walking down the street. But the shopping bags looked like censorship bars and they were right on their pelvises. And I thought that the game was just censoring 
<laughs> These two ladies, like, They just butts. got their coochies out. <laughs> I was really confused. I was so confused. Oh, this city looks cool. I'm there right now. Oh, I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't find my uh, I can't find my my LAN thingy, and I don't know my own Wi-Fi password, and I didn't feel like looking it up, so I'm playing in offline mode anyway. Are you saying that you didn't want to play with me, regardless? No, I'm telling you, I literally couldn't. I never even asked. I'm letting you know before, so I don't have to be like, oh, sorry, yeah, I just happen to not be able to. I'm just telling you now what's going on. Jump up the fucking. Chat. What do you think? It sounds like excuses, doesn't it? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're a legendary! Just climb a rock! Thank you. He's having trouble. I like how there's a dude named Hassle in this game. It's just... Hilarious. And he's constantly getting in your way. Is he? Who's Hassle? What does he do? Blonde dude. Old man. Works at the school. I thought I caught a shiny falafi just to find out that they're actually- This is a dragon apple! What the fuck? Its name is Flapple. What did I expect? Hmm. I'm being told I'm an esteemed student. Oh, the Elite Four dude. Yeah, okay. And has another Evo 2, which is just apple pie. Wait, you mean the, the blue hair guy? Girl? Oh. Yeah. Never mind. Sorry. Have you met the blue hair Elite Four guy? I don't think so. I met whatever one pops up when you uh, go to the Sun Flora area. They look really cool. Their character design is amazing. Appleton. Why are Appleton and Flapple both Pokemon? That's... Who was like, you know what? We could actually use more Apple Pokemon. And Koi Coco just starts off as an Apple Boy. Also. Nice. I caught a Voltorb. Nice! Good job! Back, what did I, I miss? A regular Pokeball. I got would have matched. I got distracted by this new area. I should have used a regular Pokeball. I just didn't think he'd stay in it. Right, right, right. Chad, I realized the trick in this game. If you have a Gengar or a Ghost Pokemon that knows um, Hypnosis or Psychic, I guess, that knows Hypnosis, um, if you Hypnosis uh, of Wild Pokemon could be of any level, and then you use a Great Ball. I haven't tried other balls, or actually a Net Ball. I've tried that too. Like, there's almost 100% catch rate with every Pokemon you try. At least in my experience. Like, I've had maybe 1 in 10 escape the ball twice, and then you catch them right away again. So, yeah. It's kind of cool, chat. Little little secret hack. Sleep spam does a lot. Sleep spam does a lot, yeah. You don't have to even attack them. Like, you can just... That's not new, M. Dude, I didn't know. You don't even have to attack them. Lucifer, you just hit them with the sleep, and then you throw a ball, and they're fine. Immediately caught. Are there type combos they haven't done? If I remember right, there are a couple type combos they haven't done. Unless that was, like, fixed in this gen. Because the first grass fire Pokemon is this gen, I think. Look at this beefy boy. He's just a little coal mine. Pokemon tips of them. Sorry, blood. Car coal. You died to a rage fist. He looks really defensive is why I think he can live this. And he can. Oh, my God.
Trying it's to hatch. Weird playing the streamer, like fighting the streamer gym leader when I'm also live <laughs> with you streaming. That's so weird. Wait, are you fighting the streamer gym leader right now? Yeah, yeah. She's like, I gotta bring in those sweet, sweet viewer numbers, and I'm, and then I had this moment of realization where I was like, Wait, wait, I'm alive. I gotta bring in the sweet, sweet viewer numbers. <laughs> yeah. What in the fuck? Oh, these are elephants. These aren't new to this gen, chat. These guys are sword and shield, right? Is there a single pure, uh, pure flying type Pokemon? Oh. You what's good, chat? Yeah, I'm How sure. How you is. liking the game so far? Big beard, I think it's three months. Uh, game is awful. Having a blast with it. <laughs> I like that response. I was uh talking about the game earlier in my stream too, and um, I was bringing up all the problems with it, or a couple of the problems with it, and then somebody came in, and I was kind of ranting. And then somebody came in and they're like, yeah, but the game's so good. What do you mean? You can't just get, like, mad at the at the game for whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, you don't understand. I really love the game, like, a lot. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of a perplexing thing or a weird thing because you can also, you can hate the game for certain aspects and then love it. Yeah, no, I, I knew I had a problem when the very first day, obviously the graphics are just horrific and irredeemably bad and all that, but getting past all that, my game crashed and I lost two hours of content. And then the next morning, I just turned my Switch on and did it all again and didn't really have a problem doing it all again. Like, it didn't bother yeah. me. Yeah. I normally would not do that with a game. I'd normally be done. I'd be like, eh, fuck it. But Yeah, it's a lot of time, too. It's such a good game, man. Chad, does Rage Fist... Oh, Rage Fist doesn't do more the more times I use it. Rage Fist does more the more I get hit, right? That's why I killed him last time by accident. It's so good. You, I could just play this for a week straight and be fine. What are the odds your HP doesn't suck? What is that? Carcoal? Mm. Evo to a little rock, bully pulley rock guy. He's a coal. He's a He's coal, a coal man. mine. Oh, <gasps> this guy has the cutest Pokemon vest on ever. Hold on, I got to show you guys. Alan, did you say Rage Fist goes up by 50 every time you take damage? So if somebody bullet seeds you when you live, do they just, you just do 10 million damage? Look at his vest, look at his vest. Wait, you can't see it, can you? Alexander, why do you do this to me? Panda. Look at his face. Wait, look at Carcool's face. I didn't realize he had eyes I on know, mouth. I he's cute. He's goofy. He's goofy looking. It looks like a Bulbasaur that's been trapped in there. His eyes have been stretched. I have seen things no Pokemon should see. I want you to see this guy's vest, Thunder. I'm sorry. You put him on the thingy. I did. Oh, it's you did? Very cool. It's a cool vest. Discord, I think you have to click on it. Discord didn't convenience, convenience its way into this one. I see the oh same my God. thing keeps happening to me. Look at the vest, dude. Isn't that sick? Has he got Charizard, Kangaskhan, Gyarados, Rhydon? I think it's Dragonite. He's very rounded base. Oh, instead of Charizard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's so cute. It's weird how happy he is. I know. He's super excited. Look at his little hair. Oh, you can't really see. Oh, it he's got little well, horns. He's got like a little horn hair. Oh, boy. Oh, sorry. A lurking steel titan. Did I not just fight a steel titan? I guess it was the ground titan, but still. Okay, I'm just saying, but Fuecoco's final evolution is the coolest final evolution I've seen in a long time. Maya breeded a shiny, and the shiny looks so sick. Oh, yeah? Yeah, shiny Fuecoco. Of, of Fuecoco? Yeah. Yeah, it's all like, it's like white and purple. Oh my god, that's sick. Three hundred fifty max power. Yeah, it's crazy. 
After 20 years relationship with Pokemon and five of those with my loving wife, I was convinced I knew something about Pokemon for certain. I used to believe mints change natures. I ate one this afternoon and nope. According to my wife, she still thinks my nature is an asshole. That joke was awful. I'll say it. I just feel like you could do better. Not just for us, but for yourself. Is your defense stat lower and is your attack stat higher? I just want to know. That was. You have to. You have to really. That joke would have really hit like super well on Facebook in twenty like, like, two thousand eight. But I can appreciate it. It's just very long. You gotta shorten it. Hey yo, BDK Marv, how you doing? Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm not eating chocolate. You are. That joke is chat. That joke is not better than Kilometers Morales. Actually, it is. Kilometers Morales is undefeated. No, I'm mad that you did that still. Have I learned a backwards long jump yet? Is that real or is that a meme? No, it's real. You can backwards jump up any hill. Yep, yahoo! Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. I'm eating chocolate, Luna. Irish chocolate from Ireland. Irish chocolate from the Irish. There is nothing wrong with this video game. Anyway. <laughs> Thunder! What? That was funny to watch. <laughs> and your reaction was perfect. There is nothing wrong with this video game. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Chat, chat. I can't believe I didn't bring this up earlier. Okay. What happened? I wanted to. I, I wanted to do this thing, but I wanted the opinion of like a lot of people uh, before I did it. Um, now I'm scared because you're being big. Yeah. Basically, chat. I'm just. It, it's small. It's actually. It's not that big a deal. But, um, chat. I've been doing really good with my diet lately. Like really, really good with my diet. Um, but obviously, you guys see, I've been slipping a little bit. I had a vanilla coke to kick the stream off today, which is because we're on turbo crack. But another thing I was thinking about doing is. And it would be breaking what I'm going for, and it's too much sugar for today. But I have... Don't... Uh, here we go again. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're, you, you are Thundershot. Go Chat, ahead. all I was saying was, is that I have a fucking... I have a candy bar in my fridge that I've been eyeballing for a while. And I know that I already had a soda today. And, but I've been doing really, really good on my diet. And it's like if I crack a little bit more and I have one more candy bar while I eat on stream... Is that like the end of the world? Do it full tilt. Well, I don't want to fall off of the diet. That's the thing. But I also really want this candy bar. And then when I get it, it won't be at, like, it'll be out of my fridge. I don't have to deal with it anymore. Do I not have cheat days? Typically, no. But every now and again, like, like today, for example, it's like, can I just have the candy bar? What candy bar? It's a Snickers. It's a Snickers candy bar. Like, it cannot throw off my diet that bad. Start back up the diet after the candy bar. Well, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so probably start the diet back up after Thanksgiving. Chad, you can have one candy bar, can't you? Show him a real thunder shock. I thought you are you telling me are you giving me a hundred bits to tell me not to get the candy bar? I thought you were better than this. Chad, you can just have one candy bar, right? I would do it. You know it's what Eat the dang candy bar, chat. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab the candy bar. I'll be right back. Em, you gotta look after chat. Your turn, you gotta babysit. Yeah, no. Hey chat. Do a poll. I'm already getting it. It's just, guys, it's one candy bar. What can it hurt? You know? Um, yeah, he doesn't need a poll. Hey, chat, it's me and you. Um, Thunder's guy could look way better than that. I, I'm really disappointed in his fashion choice, but at some point he will, he will develop and he will maybe take out a better hat or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, one of the best babies that ever sat. Hey! Chat, are you having fun today? One in chat if you're having fun. Two in chat if you hate it here and you, you're just here because you've got nothing else to do and you've got school tomorrow or work tomorrow or, you know, like you've nothing better, like nothing at all. Like you're really just, you're really just, a lot of ones. All right, that's nice. One in chat if you, if you think that Thunder has a good Pokemon team and he's, he's doing great, go ahead. Go ahead, guys. I got four days off, so one. I'm excited for you. 
Are Milky Ways good? Oh, right. I did plop you down here. Oh, yeah. He's, he came back with his candy bar chat. Oh, hey, Thunder. Why, why are we typing ones? Should I be concerned? Oh, no. I just said that... Um, I said... Um, one in chat if you really love it here. And you're having a great time. Yeah. And then two in chat if you want to never be... Like, you're only here because you have to be. If it's nothing else. Oh, where... Does Bird still have the emote? Yeah, Bert still has the emote. That's, uh, you see that little rallet in there? Yeah, I that, love that. That emote is Bird. I'm here because I have to be. That's the name of that emote. <laughs> I like that. Go ahead, Thumbtop. She asked how many shinies everyone had caught. Okay, well, we don't have to be rude to me. Go ahead, Thumbtop. Good. You got anyway. candy bar? Yeah, I did. I got my candy bar. Thank you, chat. And I, get, I, knew, I knew one candy bar wouldn't fuck my diet up, chat. Is the thing, but I just I wanted to ask. I just wanted to ask to be sure. But thank you. I think that's fair. Thank you guys a bunch. I'm glad I can have this. <laughs> it's one candy bar. <laughs> it's the size of your torso. Put it next to your arm. It's as big as your arm. Oh my god! It has veins. <laughs> Chat, look what you fucking done, chat. It's not even that big. <laughs> you said one candy bar could not hurt, could you? Did you, chat? Didn't you? Look at what you're doing. That is a vascular <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I can't explain it, but Snickers wouldn't be Snickers without the veiny, with, with, with the without the throbbing cock vein on it. It wouldn't be a <laughs> Snickers bar, right? I'm upset right now. That's huge. That's crazy. Average size Snickers. Yeah, I said it's pretty Accurate early. size of Thunder's dot dot dot. Never mind. Oh my god. Fatal, do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you guys slept together? I'd say it's pretty That's average. Crazy. Ah! I'm having caramel because you've inspired me. I don't know why I'm barely eating anything. <laughs> Where do you get those? Chat, I'm not fucking around. I bought this off Amazon specifically to do that joke just now. He's a king of bits, chat. Fat kid deals scrolled, a, scrolled across with a candy bar that weighed like, I don't know, a pound or two, whatever this is. And I immediately got that idea in my head. And I was like, oh, run that one by chat, see how it works. I also just almost broke my tooth out of my skull just now, biting into it. So <laughs> I can't, I've been keeping that candy bar in my freezer. In your freezer? Right. She has a Rotom. Chad, okay. if it's smaller than that, then honestly, don't leave your house. <laughs> and I'm glad I have Amazon, because that way I, you actually don't have to leave your house to get stuff to show up. I'll be eating these candy bars for the rest of my life on account I'm not going out to eat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting bad. Chad, if it's a joke, I thought I could make a joke. Chad, are you guys saying women can't make jokes? <laughs> if that flew over your head, can you type one? If, you, if you're if you upset, can you type two? What did I come into? Kitten, you didn't come in anything, all right? Chat told me it wouldn't be breaking my diet for me to eat one candy bar, and I'm eating one candy bar. It's true. He's just, having, he's just having one, guys. Please. It's only my only my second candy bar today. <laughs> <laughs> it's only... <laughs> I was only interested if you faint when you get excited. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, what does that mean? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Thunder, you're innocent. You shouldn't worry about stuff like that, okay? Well, I wasn't worried about it until you said that. I don't know what you're talking about. You're making things up. <laughs> I read it in chat Thunder. just now. It's still there. I can Thunder, still see are it. Are you crying? <laughs> no, we're not doing it. <laughs> are you crying right now? No. <laughs> I'm moving the candy bar. 
<laughs> Are those tears in your eyes? Are you crying? No, this is chocolate and caramel. Okay, listen, also that was just for the bit, so maybe you shouldn't eat the whole thing, but you know, I'm just, just, I'm just bald. I'm just spitting. Just ideas. I just want to throw ideas into the universe yeah, just, and see if. Just for the bit. And just for the bit? Yeah. Pipe God Thunder, but he's the pipe. Wait, what? Huh? Chad, if you're going to type stuff, you got to make sense. <laughs> Good to see Thunder struggle with a forearm long vascular bar in his mouth. You can just say put Snickers. It away. Put it away. Thunder, put the bar away. By the put way, it away. it's a one pound bar, chat. Do you guys do pounds in Canada? <laughs> no. No? No, we don't. What do you call the Canadian dollar then? The dollar. Lame. Once again, Canadians <laughs> have stolen from us. Did you think... <laughs> what? America invented the dollar. <laughs> Did you think that I would say pounds? Do you think we do British pounds in Canada as well? That's why I asked. Thunder. I literally gave you a $20 bill at Evo. You, I, you don't re <laughs> I don't remember a lot of Evo M, <laughs> so... Oh huh. my god, you were not awake then. That's crazy. You gave me a $20 bill when I wasn't awake? Do you not remember this? I wasn't awake, apparently! <laughs> Thunder! Thunder. There's no way you don't remember me giving you a $20 bill. Why would you have given me a $20 bill? I, Because you were like, what is your Monopoly money actually like? Or something like that. And it was me, you, Dotto, and a bunch of people. We are all sitting around. That narrows couches. it down. <clears throat> and um, I conveniently have Canadian money in my wallet, right? So I whip out my Canadian money. And it's green. And, and purple and all that stuff. And I gave you a $20 bill. No, because your money plastic. is called like Looney Tunes or some shit. Yeah, Looney's Tin Toonies. Looney Toonies. She, she slipped the $20 bill under your pillow like the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, he was very chat. It was a night where he went, I'm only going to have one drink tonight. And then he literally, he ordered like, because the whole group ordered like a bunch of bottles to the room. Uh, Balvin's penthouse at the time and uh, one of those bottles was one that Thunder really likes and by himself basically he just kept going back for more of that one drink and you actually the funny thing about getting drunk with Thunder is you don't know he's drunk you just don't know he's drunk at I all. am he's absolutely fine until the second that I'm not at all he he has zero you have he acts the exact same he's a little bit gigglier but he acts the exact same as he does on stream at sober like perfectly the exact same you would not know and the next day you'll ask him about something you had a regular ass conversation about and he will he'll be like what are you talking about we didn't have that conversation because <laughs> he doesn't remember it because he was plastered but he didn't look it at all did we tell them about the ice cream event what is the ice cream event when we got ice cream me and you and a bunch of people we got ice cream actually it was me you balvin and and bronze we got ice cream together at twitchcon and it was like 11 p.m. at night. And I didn't know Thunder was drinking at all, but he had had like, oh, because you did Diddy's video that day. <laughs> that was the day you did Diddy's video. I can't Diddy's even blame me for not video. remembering ice cream. So I thought, th I swear to God, chat. I thought Thunder was sober, okay? We're walking around. We're about to go back to the, to the Airbnb. And uh, we see an ice cream place and we all want to get ice cream. And Thunder and me and Balvin and, and Bronze, we all get ice cream. The next day, I ask Thunder about the ice cream. I bring it up in conversation. He's like, what are you talking about? We didn't get ice cream. He completely forgot about the whole thing. It didn't exist. Okay, so I don't remember the getting ice cream chat, but what I do remember is a short time after that, we had gotten an Uber to go back to the, to the house. And the Uber was dropping somebody else off and they were not at their destination yet. But M found them because it was in the middle of a busy street. The lights were going, the cars were packed. <laughs> But M saw the Uber in the middle of traffic and is like, that's our Uber. And I swear to God, chat, I know I was drunk, but I swear to God, M goes up, rips the door off this van, and she like throws the other patrons out of the Uber. They're like, we're not there yet. She's like, this is our Uber. And she tosses their asses out of the van and then she's like, get in, we're going home. <laughs> I remember that. No, that's not true. That's not true. They, it was our Uber. And it was completing the trip, but it was like two car lengths away from the corner of the road. 
and I pointed to the Uber because I knew that it was our car, but the windows were tinted, so we couldn't see in the back that there was other people in it. So, <laughs> shut up, stop. <laughs> I'm watching you, Mr. Mime this right now. Uh, <laughs> so I point to the Uber, everybody's fucking drunk, and I'm the sober one, and I have to responsibly get everyone home, essentially. And, uh, and the Uber looks at me, and then the people in the car see me pointing at the Uber, and they realize that they're basically at their corner anyway. So they go, oh, we're, this is basically our stop. So they get out of the car, and we get in. But it did happen to be in the I don't remember the road, them politely volunteering abrupt. that it was their stop. Because you were on the side of the road, and I was in the middle of the road. It was totally different. You were super far away. Yeah, because you ran out in the middle of the road to throw them out of their car. <laughs> Believe it. Naruto, oh, there's, something about, there's something about Naruto the Super Sage saying... I believe it. That just sends me. M choke slam themed out of the Uber. I fully believe it. Listen, I did not choke slam them. I politely grasped their necks and throttled them. And they said, I she, love this. Keep going. She opened up they, their van door and Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme started playing. <laughs> when they like looked out and saw her. Just fucking <laughs> I did not. <laughs> M ripped out the child car seat and placed the infant in the car seat. <laughs> No, nah, I ripped the child out of the car seat and I put thunder in, in the in the child seat. And then I He I fucking up eased me right in. <laughs> I lifted him up like a princess and I dropped him in the in the child seat. You sat backwards the entire ride. It was crazy. She put, she put me in the car seat wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you were like double strapped in. You know the ones that have two two straps on either side? <laughs> I couldn't move my arms. <laughs> Your face planted at the back of the seat. <clears throat> I'm dying because he just said uppies. That's what she hit me with. She hit me with fucking. Did I tell you guys about the time at Evo when I met uh, I met Honeybell? I met Nicole. Oh, she's so cool. She is. She's really nice. I like hanging out, I like hanging out in her stream. We've known her for like you know, known her for like a year and a half. I think. Uh, no, no. I met her after I met. Did I know you when we met. I, I think I think we met the twins before we met you guys. But anyway. I've known Nicole for a while, basically, longer than a year. And she's at Evo, and I've never met Nicole in person. We've chatted, she's been in here, I've been in her chat, we played games together before, we played Mario Party, shit like that. I like I know Nicole, but I've never met Nicole in person. I see Nicole at Evo, and she kinda <clears throat> I like like I'm eyeing her up because like she's in the middle of a conversation, but I want to know that I'm there. And then she's eyeing me up, just like, hey, what's up? And then she walks over to me, and I swear to God, she's she's skinny, right? She's a little bit shorter than I am, but she's she's like, I don't know. Five. She's tall though. Yeah, yeah. She's like five nine or something like that. But she's shorter than I am. But she's she's really skinny, right? She's a tiny woman, all things considered, other than the fact that she's got a little height to her, right? She walks up to me and my barely under two hundred pound ass. We have not said a word to each other yet, and she tries to lift me up. She puts her hands under my arms and she tries to lift me up in the air. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> but that was the first time I ever interacted with Nicole in person ever. We she gave me a hug. I think right after that she gave me a hug. Yeah. Because I, I might have been. I think I was with you, but I don't remember everything. What the hell is this thing? I didn't know her very well then, but she was really she's really funny and she's really nice. It was after Phasma. We raided him after uh, Phasma day, and then Lotus was in the raid, and then they just really knew Lotus because they were they've been watching fighting game stuff lately, so it worked out. We freaked out because they were freaking out about Lotus. Hello, hello, oh, hola, I'm fighting ciao. her right now. Bonjour. Oh, is this streamer girl? Yeah, I'm fighting her right now. That's crazy. Are you copying me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Chat, he's copying. Well, how come her hair is blinking? Are they little Magnemites? Yeah, they're chubby Magnemites. She's like a VTuber girl. She did. She popped up in the corner like a VTuber. I just realized that. Yeah, I love her. She's so cute. That girl is so cute behind her. Are you talking about me? Or am I just an asshole for even thinking that. that because that's really nice of you. I think Luna was that. talking about the girl behind behind you, which was her until I moved your webcam out of the way. Oh. My bad. Luna, you cute ass bitch. I love you. Mwah. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find I'm three times. Wait, do you think that's me, chat? I could do my hair like that. And then I'll dye it pink and blue. And then everybody will have to... And I'll have to get these Magnemite plushies. Big old Magnemite balls for your hair. 
massive balls in my hair. But I'll make everyone feel really insecure. It'll be crazy. Um, with the size of my balls. Why oh would my the, God, oh. I'm, right. I'm sorry. <laughs>